Rupert, many congratulations. Okay. English senior men's amateur champion. What does that mean to you? Well, it's uh, terribly pleasing. Dead chuffed, as they would say. Um, it's always fantastic to win anything and to win your national title. It's fantastic. Um, it's the biggest probably the national title, certainly the largest national title I've ever won before. Um, so I'm delighted, absolutely dead chuffed. And to have beaten Ian Atto, who's dominated this event the last three, four, five years, it's, um, it's yes, I'm very proud. It was very tight coming down the stretch there, not only Ian, but Trevor Foster was, was posting a good score. How did you manage to keep control of your game coming down the last four or five holes? Well, uh, I, I hit the ball a lot better than my score. So um, I, I was quite comfortable because I was hitting the ball so well. But what the problem was, that, and it wasn't quite sure what people's scores were. <laughs> um, and uh, anyway, you just you know, play one shot at a time. And you get on with it, um, but the fact is, I was just hitting the ball really well, and that makes the life so much easier. Middle of the fairway, middle of the green, two putts, and we're we'll gone. You did it in some style, a birdie at 16, a birdie again at 18, just to just to get yourself over the line. That must be satisfying. Yeah, I know, very very satisfying. Particularly, I was like three putted from 20 feet on 14 for par, which was uh, disappointing. Um, so yeah, no, 16, I, I I think I put it about 18 inches, uh, and then 18, I had two putt birdie. Um, so, yeah, it was a nice way to finish. Very, very nice way to finish. English national champion, does that sound nice? It sounds very good. Very good. And I'd like to uh, be the English national champion again next year as well. Good stuff. Congratulations, Rupert. Well played. Thank you very much. Thank you.